up, welcome to MGP478. I'm Kev, and with me as ever, the Sheepdog Anna and Pab. Say hello, boys and girls. You know, try and do that again with a bit more enthusiasm, Kevin. Hello. <laughs> I've got hello. COVID. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I am I am clammy. I am very, very clammy. You sound I clammy. I like it. You sound like you're under a duvet or something. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I was under a duvet. This, uh, two, what is it? Two, three years this nonsense has been going on. This is the first time I've ever actually tested positive for it. And I'll tell you what, it's not very pleasant. <laughs> Do you reckon... I, I don't know. It's not had enough media coverage, really. This COVID <laughs> thing, unpleasant. Do you reckon the other times you thought you might have had it were were fake cases now that you've... No, I think that time back in, what was it, May 2020, before oh, the God. testing existed, I was much much sicker then than mm. I am now. I don't know. I'm, I'm touching wood because I am only a couple of days in right now. I started feeling rough on Wednesday evening. Um, and tested positive for the first time today, Friday, as we're recording this. Um, but back in, uh, yeah, back in May 2020, I was, I couldn't get out of bed. No, we both I was, didn't. It we was horrible. Awful. So yeah, this is not close to that that level yet. Although I'm feeling pretty rough, I'm still working as normal. I'm still going to be in the streamer showdown this weekend. Um, I am still a hero, um, but it does. <laughs> I just feel it's unpleasant. It's very unpleasant. You just sound like you've had enough. <laughs> you just sound like you're just defeated. That's it. Yeah, a it's, a, it's a very unpleasant feeling. The worst thing is my knee's been bad for months. And <laughs> earlier this week, my knee started to feel better. And I got, there was a moment on like Monday or Tuesday this week where I got out of a chair without yelling any curse words, which is the first time I've done that for months. And you know how when you're fluey, your joints start to ache a little bit? Well, it's all hit my knees again. And because I've got because I've got stupid COVID, it's now made all my joints ache, which has made my knee bad again. <laughs> so now I'm back to swearing when I get out of a chair. It's rubbish. Yeah. Do you know what? I've been feeling great this week. I'm sure you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we spent the weekend hanging out together on Sunday, so fingers crossed I gave it to you as well. I know, I was That'll be the only bright that. spot if I've managed to infect you as well. That'd Real be perfect. Gloating is probably tempting fate, but no, uh, I had a, 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 I was streaming on Wednesday, then I had a really late night just chatting to folks and hanging out, and then it was like 2am, and I suddenly thought, i got work in the morning, whoops. Um, I woke up and was just like, I feel absolutely incredible. Um, it just felt like a, a million pounds, and yeah, I'm riding that wave. I feel like... I'd, I. I'm, I've been moaning everywhere that I've been having a stressful time and everything kind of cleared up. Uh, it's just like, oh, okay. It's like unexpectedly things just got better. And I'm like, cool. So I feel pretty good at the moment. So COVID would probably seem quite about right now. About right now. I'd probably wake up on Monday. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't mind a week off. I'd just say, right, yeah, sorry, can't come in. I got COVID. Um, that'd probably elevate things a little bit. But uh, no, it, uh, I've had a good week. So uh I feel like maybe I need to keep you where you are. Maybe the universe is balancing us out and then things start getting better for you and it'll get worse for me again. Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make me feel a bit better. Uh, I, wow, Kevin. I feel like I have goaded the universe to just assassinate me now. Um, yeah. Oh, that'd be, that would be that would be nice. That would make me feel better. Don't it has been throwing me. pigeons at me. I don't know if you saw my tweeting earlier. I was driving my daughter to work and a bird just smacked into the side of my car Um the people outside... I mean, I've seen pigeons chase you several times over the years, usually when you're holding a bag of chips at the seaside. Yeah, no, it does happen. They're obviously out to get me, but I, there was these, I was driving my daughter to school and there was two kids walking to school and they jumped a mile. I, they, they were still freaking out as I was driving off into the distance, but um, there wasn't a pigeon there when I got back, so I don't know whether one of them stuck it in their bag or what. But yeah, and then I got home, told my wife that, and then she texted me from her car going, one's just hit me. And I was just like, what's going on there after us? But uh, no other attacks yet. I've not had any attacks on the house. <laughs> my kids haven't mentioned any attacks. Uh, yeah, I'm just keeping my eyes peeled. I'm going into town tomorrow, dropping my daughter off to buy some comics and stuff. And I'm thinking the birds might be out to get me. I might. There's, there's going to be a lot of pigeons in Peterborough Town Centre, aren't there? Um, could, be, could be trouble ahead. I might have to bring a bat, just start wildly swinging it around. But uh, how far do you reckon I could kick a pigeon? Don't I, I think pigeons. that's I think that's something Jeez. you should die without ever finding the answer to. <laughs> I'm just thinking if they attack me first. I'm not just just in case the police are listening. I only plan. Well, you have to... just said you're going to go into town with a bat because you want to hit some pigeons. I think <laughs> this, I think you probably 
you're going to prison at this rate if you have any kind of altercation with a pigeon because it's definitely premedicated. Ah, that's premedicated. Medicated. <laughs> the, the... I'm leave me alone. <laughs> Just dosed up on pigeon whacking. I wish um, I was premedicated. This is ridiculous. <laughs> There's banks and all sorts there. I reckon the CCTV coverage of that city centre will be pretty good that they'll see me just casually walking down the street with my bat in my hand really really calm and then all these birds coming out of nowhere to attack me it'll be pretty clear that i didn't instigate it unless the... you shouldn't be carrying a bat in i was gonna say i don't want like some bird lawyer to be saying well they're intimidated by the the man holding the bat so they struck first i mean i see how this could go against me but uh... perhaps you need to wear full baseball uniform so you could make out that you were heading to a baseball <laughs> match and you just had your equipment with you I thought you were saying to defend me, and I was like, that's the umpire. A baseball cap and a t shirt ain't going to do much. But no, you're right. Um, I could just whistle, take me off to the ball game, whatever the song's called, as I'm walking along with my bat. And I mean, they might see that as a threat as well. We just don't know at this point. I mean, I tell you what, I'll just rely on my kung fu skills. Let's just, I'll be all right. I'll punch the living daylights out of them if they come near me. Or just run away screaming like a little girl, like you did the last time I saw you be chased by a pigeon. <laughs> They they can fly and they can work in all directions, so it's not really an option to fly uh, to run away from them because there's more of them than coming from every direction. If anything, I need to curl up into a ball and cry. Just defend your chips at all costs. Hmm. I'll do my best. Right, I've done my six minutes of contribution to this podcast. <laughs> I'm too poorly to talk. I'm going to mute my microphone in a minute so you don't have to hear me coughing. <laughs> And I'll weigh in occasionally with some kind of witty or slash sarcastic comment if I feel the need. Bottom line, I've played some Football Manager this week. Pokemon Go, uh, Pokemon card game expansion is out today, and that's excellent. Although I don't have a ditto yet, so I've not been able to peel my cards. And now I'm going to mute my microphone what and go to sleep. Why do you peel your cards? Why don't, why do because you... there's a ditto card in the Pokemon Go set Aww. that it's it's underneath certain other cards. You have to peel the top layer of the card off and it has a ditto underneath. Oh, that's cool. Can I it is cool, but I haven't, had one. Well, I haven't got one yet. <laughs> no, why? I feel like it's very cool, but it also seems weird that you would deface the card. Like, it's un, it's unrenewable at that point. Do you know what I mean? I, it's a shame they couldn't have done a little, like, window that you slid left and right, but then I suppose that would... Well, I'm going to have to get multiple of each one so that I sure. have a, a peel and, and unpeel and one. And obviously, I have to keep the peelings as well. They'll go in the binder. It'll all be, they'll just be next to each other in the binder. The, the little sticker will be in the next slot to where the uh, exposed ditto is. The fact that it's got a a sticker means you know either way, right? So why not just not put a sticker on it and have a little ditto in the corner? I don't understand. Gimmicky, isn't it? But how does it work as well? I also got a load of Pokemon Go codes with my sets as well that have got me loads of Pokemon Go freebies. Oh, you swine. I could have given him a home. No, (laughs) put them all in there. If anyone listening gets are. them and they want to help their old pal Sheepdog out, I mean, I am still in uh, rehabilitation for yeah, it. Yeah, you, you don't play it anymore, so you're not allowed them. Well, I play it. I just, I'm not no, living in forbidden. it. No, you're forbidden. You played it the weekend, <laughs> um, I'm just checking my stats I didn't that. see him look at his phone at all on Sunday. When yeah, we no, it. I was it pretty was good, on, wasn't I? On Saturday he was out of it. Was was... The point was, previously, whenever he's been anywhere near a video of mine, he's always been on his phone. And oh, this time, the key was putting a camera in his hand. He couldn't hold <laughs> That's his phone it. If as you well. want me to film in future, I'm, I'm still keeping to my roughly half an hour a day. I've just looked. I'm, I've averaged half an hour on it all week, which I think is pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a healthy amount of uh, Pokemon to and fro in. Um, I forgot its name, so I just threw out, <laughs> threw out words that were vaguely <laughs> right. Um there is a, annoyingly, there is a collector's event on, and I'm trying to like turn it on, have a quick look what's around, and then turn it off again, and just not let it dictate anything. And it's kind of right. I just feel like being healthier with it makes sense. Uh, but yeah, these cards, I feel like I've still not got any inkling of wanting to play the card game. And uh, people I've got been... a Team Instinct pin now as well that came mm. with my set. People so were coming into my chat with my pin. They were saying, like, oh, you're going to start playing it now Now the Go ones are out. And I was like, genuinely, no no urge whatsoever. I feel like if it was ever going to happen, it would have happened by now. Uh, yeah, I just. I also I... have several boxes of the Japanese Pokemon Go set as well that came out a few days earlier. So I'm going to ha- I'm gonna get myself a full set of English and Japanese Pokemon Go cards. Why? Very, very exciting. If I ever 
got to go to Japan, that is somewhere I would probably play Pokemon Go a lot, just because it seems like uh, all their Pokemon stuff seems a different world over there. Um, I'd want to go visit the Pokemon. Oh Center, yeah, their card, the stuff. cards are much better over there because um, even the even the energy cards are shiny. But they've got in the Go set, it's shiny energy cards with the Pokemon Go logo on. So, Anna, our shiny energy that lives on our fridge is going to be replaced by a Pokemon Go one soon. Once I've opened these Japanese cards, I, hope, I bet you're excited about that. Oh, whoopee do. See, she's excited. <laughs> Lost for words. I, um, I've i lost my show. Oh, yeah, no, I was wondering why they haven't put the card game in the app. I feel like adding in a Pokemon Go card battle option in the game in the app would have been a genius way to get everybody to to play it do you know what i mean just well they're supposed to be bringing out the new pokemon tcg live app um which will actually be a mobile app where you can play the tcg but they had it out on uh beta in canada earlier in the year and it was a buggy mess apparently so they've had to delay the launch of it seems so mad, it, it might it? well be that the original plan was to launch it at the same time as this and have some kind of synergy but then they remembered they were the Pokemon company and it was better just to do it really erratically and nonsensically. <laughs> it is weird. I wonder whether they are just such next level marketing geniuses that they go, we're going to do this and it's going to be amazing and then they do it and it is. Or whether they just roll a dice and they're just like, yep, six, that means we're going to just do it there. And the other thing, oh, we rolled a two, so we're going to do that over here. And yeah, whatever, it'll be fine. It's Pokemon, it always sells. Like it they're either geniuses or they're fluking it and you can't fluke it for this long surely it's been what 25 years 30 years i don't know i've lost track um it's it's ludicrous but good on them then i i assumed you because you said you were what were you doing you're not doing the videos about cards anymore are you so i thought that meant the cards were fading off but you're still oh no no i'm still buying the cards just not making the videos because no one's interested in them Nobody cares about my Pokemon cards. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, at least you're still doing it. That's cool to hear. Um, will you still be buying £100 boxes at events and stuff like that then? Definitely. So Kevin. many boxes that have arrived today. <laughs> and there's I mean, so many more on the way. This is why we can't buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> you were, like, a few months we can ago. Buy a house no, no, no. no. You want. A few months ago, you were like, yeah, we can get a house. We've got this much to put towards it. Oh, no, I don't want to move for a couple of years. This is why. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to I'm gonna have to put my foot down. You're going to have to stop, Kevin. It's becoming a bit of an issue. Again, you've made a mess in the hallway. <laughs> Again. This isn't the time, really. Um, uh, that house across the road keeps going sold and unsold. We're not moving some back point. to your turdy old At some point, you need woods. to jump in. Move to uh, the area down the road where your family, your your kids are moving to. Not a chance. No. Spalding? No, thank you. I was. I just assumed you didn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. But no, just move in driving distance. It's too far. I don't even know where you are, but just move near enough that I can visit you sometimes and stuff. There's a very good reason why we won't do that, and you've basically said it as part of the question. <laughs> Rude. But uh, no, so is that all you played, the cards and the football manager? Yes, it is. Oh, and I got my new Arsenal shirt today. You'll be like, yeah. delighted to know. Why? Why did you do that? I'm, I'm going to have to get an away one now so I can have Jesus on the back because I ordered pre-Jesus. But uh, yeah, I got my lovely new Arsenal shirt with a collar. Lovely. But like wear a priest's it, collar. I'll wear like... it when you come round and visit. <laughs> is, it a, is it a priest collar? No, it's a, it's a football shirt collar. What with it being a football shirt? Yeah, but it's also going to have Jesus on the back, so I just thought, you know... It doesn't uh, have Jesus on the back at the moment, though, does it, you silly goose? Oh, uh, I've I've uh, I've ruined myself there. Um, so I have only this week. I planned to play Monster Hunter. That was my big. I'm going to stream Monster Hunter with my friend, and it's going to be the birth of me doing collab streams with other people that aren't just you, you three over and over again. Um, not that I don't want to do them with you three, but I mean you're the only people I've ever streamed with, and we've not done that many, have we? Um, and I was like, oh, I'm going to stream with new people, and then. Uh, I went on about three hours before the stream and was like, oh, there's an update. I'll update. So I pressed the button and I thought it instantly did it because the game loaded. And I was like, okay. So I said, everybody, there's a, there is an update to do, but it's not very big. Um, just make sure you do it before you get on. So we're ready to start at eight because there's going to be three of us streaming. And then about half an hour before one of them went, you know, it's a 10 gig update, right? And I was like, mine did it pretty quick. 
And they were like, yeah, but you have got fast internet. And I was like, not fast internet that I click a button and 10 gigs just goes boop, 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 you know. So I had a look and mine was like 15 minutes away from finishing the download. It had been doing it for three hours and everybody else's wasn't going to do it for ages. And I was literally five minutes away from streaming. So I was like, what do I do? So I just put a little of that out saying, I'm going to play Hollow Knight again. I was going to do, um, there's, so everyone in, in the server has been playing this religiously lately. And there's these five like gauntlets you can do called Pantheons where, they have like 10 bosses or well, however many bosses um, in each pantheon. And the idea is you've got to start at the first one and go all the way through without stopping. You can't, you can heal sort of as you're going in the battles and there is a respite in the middle of one of them, but it's all the hardest bosses all in a row and you've got to try and do it. So I happened to be at that because I'd left it last time. So I spent Wednesday night trying to do that and just got my backside handed to me massively. Um, I got better at it. I got a lot better at it as the stream went on. And then tonight I tried to do it. I got past where I was stuck, but then the next bit was even harder. It's like I think I got eight in and it was a ridiculously hard boss. I killed that one, so now I'm nine in. And every, it, weirdly, every time I now redo it, I'm getting nine in. It's like the, the eighth one was killing me constantly and now I'm killing it constantly, but I'm stuck on the ninth one. So eventually I'll do that and I'll get onto the next one and then I'll be stuck on that for a bit. But uh, yeah, it's just been really fun doing it. I love the patterns. I, I know I've reviewed this game to heck, but the boss battles are always like dances and it feels really flowy. I really like the feeling of doing them because once you get in the habit of it, you're like, I'm going to go right. You're going to go left. I'm going to go up. You're going to go down. You're going to disappear. I'm going to jump over here and you get in this really good flow and then everything just feels nice and good. And then you do it and you're like, yeah, brilliant. I like doing this. And so it's been really nice just because I know the flow of the first eight. I just feel like I'm getting into this comfortable rhythm. So I was doing that, but then I kind of got worried for, I think I was doing like an hour and a half of that today again. And I thought people aren't going to watch me just fail this again for another three or four attempts. So I went and tried to do another, I've, 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 because you have to kill the bosses before you can do these pantheons. I've realized there's like a good 30 bosses I've not killed in this game. At least I reckon there's, there's a lot of bosses I've missed. And so I thought I'd start hunting a few of them down. Um, the the game has layers and layers and layers of stuff. And part of the reason I, what intrigued me was somebody Point, uh, recently discovered a whole new area that no one's ever found before they just you know someone put it on youtube oh, i was playing the game i stumbled across this it's just a whole area that it doesn't have much in it but you can wander around in it there's a challenge in there and that kind of thing and i'm like 99 percent sure they haven't released an update or anything like that it's just this game has got so many secrets in it so many hidden bits so many random walls you have to hit the right way or whatever that unless you go and hit every pixel you know you're relying on someone dropping a new thing they've found there's people out there who are constantly furthering this up i don't know if it's affected the percentages i remember it being like 112 or 115 something like that percent of the game you could complete uh i don't know whether this new stuff pushes that number up or anything like that but yeah it's just amazing hearing that people are still discovering secrets within it um i would have thought people would have broken the code down and the map and you know hacked it and whatever but evidently that's not how it works and so anyway i'm really enjoying it i I realized there's loads of story I didn't see either when I was playing it. There's, there's just tons of stuff to it. So I've had a bit of a uh, revival with that, even though it wasn't that long since I last played it. But I'm enjoying the fact that there's so many people I know are starting it. Again, if, you, if you're listening and you've never played it, go check it out. But obviously, you need to give it a chance for the first half an hour or so. I know Anna's tried a couple of times and struggled. Um, mm. It just seems... I don't know what it is. I think you have to just get to a point and then suddenly you're hooked. And... I for me I think it was there's you go to this grass bit and there's this character that's running off and you have to kind of try and f chase after him and find them and I think that just sort of hooked me in and I was like oh who are they what's going on and you know and <laughs> it just builds up from there really and again when you get into these battles and they're rock hard and you think oh my god I don't see me completing this ever and then you spend an hour on it and finally you do it you just feel like a, a absolute legend so yeah, or, or three hours as I've done with this bloody Pantheon. But um, yeah, it's, uh, it is a top tier game. And if you've never played it, it's on Game Pass. So go and play it. And obviously, Pab and uh, Anna don't, if you don't want to. <laughs> you've struggled with it. But uh, no, I'm loving it. I really like it. It's really up my street. And uh, I'm glad I've got back on it because I think I was missing it a little bit. And it's good. But that is mainly, well, that is only what I've been playing. And I've, um, I've got to try and find other things to play. Someone told me there's a Marvel game coming out next week. Uh, an XCOM style uh, Midnight Sun. Is that right? Is that out next week? That's what Melvin said. Uh, let me just double check. I'll, I'll Google it. Soon. 
but it's out soon and uh, he might have meant it's coming soon oh, apparently it's a bloody film about a man hugging a woman in front of a sky background as well um Pardon. I, uh, it doesn't say is it called Midnight Sun the initial release date 2022 there's no date as of yet hmm. they told me it's coming soon maybe they just meant there's been an update about it oh, it's coming out the 7th of October well that's a shame it must have been that's some information that they saw about it they were excited <laughs> about it I was like oh well if that's coming out I'll get that but uh a Marvel XCOM game. Don't start playing the advert, you silly machine. Sorry, my computer was about to start blasting an advert at me. Uh, that sounds cool, though. If I can build like a little XCOM-style Wolverine and everybody else team, Iron Man's in the picture. Uh, there's, there's lots of people. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's well up my street. I feel like XCOM games are a, a massive thing I enjoy. And I've got Mario... Is it X Rapids or Cross Rapids versus Rapids? Rapids yeah. um, oh, I've got that. that I'm, I keep meaning to play it. I've not played it in a while. I, I should probably stream that at some point. But uh, yeah, I just I want more games like that. I think if people want to recommend me some, that'd be very very welcome. Well um, play that well, one. But, it's really one, good. One moment. Uh, I'm gonna say, is this game called <laughs> Phoenix Point? Phoenix Point. Phoenix Point. I think that is a... Sorry for everyone who can hear my keyboard. I think that is a (laughs) sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of... Like you don't need to make a note of it now, Sheepdog. I'll probably recommend it to you in about three years if I bring it out now. <laughs> uh, Phoenix Point Behemoth Edition. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Behemoth Behemoth Edition. There we go. Behemoth. Um, behemoth. <laughs> All right. I just Sorry. I just saw a word I haven't said in a while. I took a punt. I mean, I called it Pokemon there and then or whatever before because my brain's not screwed on. You know how it is. Oh, I'm sorry. It's is funny. <laughs> Strategy video game featuring a turn-based tactic system developed by Bulgaria. Oh, it's Bulgaria, full stop. <laughs> Bulgaria-based independent developer Snapshot Games. 2019 that came out as well. So that's relatively, you know, not that not that old. Um, no, I'll have a look at that. I've got it on my desktop, to like the on my, on my browser tabs. Um but no, part of my plan is to play Monster Hunter. There is going to be mm. Minecraft at some point. And uh, also, that's what I meant to say. Somebody has found a mod for Hollow Knight where you can play it multiplayer. So I'm doing a stream with, I think, three other people where we're going to start the game in multiplayer mode with this mod. And we're going to try and tackle it that way because it should. it's going to be a multiplayer randomizer. So the the when you leave a room, it'll be a different place. It won't be just going in a linear path or whatever the word is um i do worry a little bit that you don't fight bosses together and therefore we may get stuck with me being an absolute noob i don't know whether there's a way around that where i can skip it or one of us has to beat it or what i need to ask them that if we all have to be as good as each other that puts us in a sticky situation because one of my friends plays uh randomizers where you've only got one hit point and you can't get hit and they 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 said the other day, oh, yeah, I just did a two-hour run. And I was oh, like, what? God, that sounds awful. And they were like, uh, yeah, I reckon I could shave 15 minutes off the time. So they just played through the game. They're going to try and do it in an hour and 45 minutes and all of this. And I'm like, what? You're just doing the whole game in two hours flat. So they're really good at it. And I'm thinking there's me who keeps just failing these really simple bits. Um, so, yeah, I may get I may get booted out of that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not good enough, I may get asked to leave very quickly and swapped in for someone who's better. Um, but yeah, I, m- mods seems like a cool thing to look into as well. So I'm I'm looking forward to that rabbit hole. But uh, yeah, that is my lot. So I don't know if you want to do an ad first and then you two or what. I mean, I don't know if Kev's I'll alive. be the judge of when we can do an ad. Hap, do an ad. Excellent. Good advert. Do some talking. I'm muting again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what have I played this week? What have I played this week? That's a good question you can ask. Um, what have you played? Are you interviewing week? yourself? What's going on here? <laughs> it's Pab and Bat talking to each other. Um, I've done I've done a, a service this week for, for people. Um, I've I've played Popeye on the Nintendo Switch, and I can tell you, <laughs> don't buy this game. <laughs> No matter how cheap it is, it is not a good game. As in Popeye the Sailor Man. Uh huh. Uh huh. Interesting. Yeah. It oh, it's it, it, 
thing. It's interesting. It, it, it... I mean, this is a TV show from approximately 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. Why is it now a video game? Uh, it's been a video game for about a year. Um, Cult following, Kevin, that's what. Yeah. Um, mm. uh, it's, it's, it's very... It's the most generic, boring, like, one-note thing of a game <laughs> that... I think I think I didn't even I didn't finish the game. Let's be honest with you, I didn't finish the game, so it could change. But I seriously doubt it when the nine levels that I did play are pretty much identical. <sighs> Is it just there's a monster eat spinach, beat it up? Um, so you start off on like um like a little town. There's like a little like western town, like a little cowboy town, and Olive's in the top of a castle looking thing, and she's throwing hearts down. And you're Popeye, and you've got to run around this town and collect all these hearts. You've got to get collect twenty hearts to finish the level. She's throwing them down randomly across the across the, the little island that you're on. It's not very big. Uh, all the time while um, is it Bluto, the baddie? That sounds right. I think yeah, that sounds that right. right. Yeah, he's chasing. He's he's chasing after you. Uh, and one other random enemy, which tends to be maybe a witch, maybe a vulture. I don't know. Uh, chasing after you, and you just kind of avoid them. You don't; they don't move fast. They don't move fast, and then occasionally you'll come across a can of spinach, and you eat the spinach, and he does the little the little animation, mm -hmm. and that makes you move fast, and also allows you to punch punch the enemies, and it punches them, and they just fly off into the distance, and then you've got about ten to fifteen seconds without them chasing after you, um, and then you collect them, and then the next level is. Uh, on a pirate ship and she's at the top of the pirate ship and she throws letters down and you've got to spell the word out that you basically just collect the letters like you would the hearts and it eventually just fills in the, the sentence uh and then same again brutus and maybe a witch or a vulture or maybe a skeleton of eight i think maybe or something like that how much did you pay for this game <laughs> two quid something like that it wasn't dear but it see i knew it was bad but i had to know <laughs> and you, it is bad and it's got like a generic kind of like sailorish kind of shanty tune playing in the background the entire time, just on loop. Um, it sounds a bit like a a MIDI tune from like a like an old Nokia phone or something. Um, but yeah, it, it's it's not good. Um, you'd really don't even if even if you're just intrigued by oh what's this about then, don't worry, it's not. It's nothing mm. that you need to like interest yourself with. It's not good, um, unless, like, say, I, I think I bought it on a sale for like two quid, but <coughs> even then, I think that's a push. Um, so I've played that this week. Um, I continue to play Fortnite. I continue to play Fortnite, and I'm getting more and more en enraged by mm -hmm. console players. <laughs> And I'm thinking, is this game dying? Where they just we're just getting merged with console uh, lobbies now? I don't know. I can't can't you be just that, turn that, that off? No, no, you can't. Um, I thought you could. You used to be able to, but they've turned they've turned it off now. I don't know whether it's just because there's not that many lobbies now. I don't know. I don't know. But we're getting merged with them lobbies, so um, I'll continue to play Fortnite. I just like doing the battle pass. Battle pass now level forty, I think. Isn't bad. Nice. Moving on up. Um, games that I've played this evening, uh, I wanted to give a go. Of um, the new Mon Humble Monthly came out earlier this week, I think, or wherever it was, late last week, and I've just um, redeemed the games. First one I've played is a game called I Am Fish. Have we heard of I Am Fish? I have heard of I Am Fish. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's from the people who made I Am Bread and Surgeon Simulator. <laughs> um, and you're a fish, and you are in a goldfish bowl trying to escape rooms you're bold and aren't it, you so uh, he's trying to get back to the sea uh, yeah pretty much from what I could gather it's Nemo yes that's, that's the vibe I was getting because <laughs> you start off in this big fish tank with a load of fish and then you, your fish friends get all scooped out with a net and you're left on your own and you're like right okay it's go time um, and initially it's, it's, the premise is, is a good one to me Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, oh, is this going to be like Monkey Ball Esque, where you're in the bowl trying to navigate around? But like Monkey Ball, you don't really move the bowl. 
you move the platforms, don't you? You don't really move the ball itself. So that's opposite to it straight away. And then the momentum on it, the controls are so difficult. It's like, it is, it, it's, it's almost like realistic as if there is like a huge like goldfish bowl full of water and you're trying to roll it and control it like where it's going and steer it. It's incredibly hard. Um, to the point where it just kind of gets frustrating and it's like, it's like, it just it's kind of painful to just move maneuver around which I, I like I say I want to like this game I do and well I am bread was it bread did you say yes I that am bread, was infuriating yeah. did you yeah. play it oh my god I, I, I don't think I, maybe I did when it first came out but it's, it's old now that one yeah but mm. I don't think I don't know but it, I could imagine so um, <laughs> the, like I said the premise to me is a good one it just doesn't control great and there's like levels where it's, it, it's level based with a story kind of like linking it between each one and at the end of each level it's like how many stars did you get on level out of five stars and then there's like a time on it i'm like this if this is a speed run game it must be the most infuriating it's like there must be ways to do it i don't know because it's, it's, <laughs> it's like it's like eight minutes a level i'm like i can't do this wow. i don't know how people are meant to do it at like the breakneck speeds that they're doing it and i don't know but it's fine. It's fine, but it's not. It's not what. It's 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 not what I thought it'd be. I was thinking, oh, it might be like a, a nifty kind of like monkey ball kind of like game that's, that's kind of fun and kooky. But it's it's not. It's not really. It's it's all right, but. I don't know how much more time I'll put into it just because it's a bit. I, I'm hoping. I was hoping there'd be like some sort of way to to get some sort of like power up or something to be able to, to make it easy to steer make the ball faster because it's like the momentum i mean to be fair i got out of the fishbowl at one point and then you're swimming around for a bit and then i spent 15 minutes just wandering around trying to figure out what i was meant to do and then getting stabbed by syringes in the in a sewer and <laughs> i got caught in a i got caught in a ring pull you know in, in like the you know the plastic rings on on cans that oh yeah i got caught in one of them and i died Oh, no. I was like, oh, it really happens, apparently. It's not as you, you cut them little ring ring tags off. Um, but yeah, I, I yeah, and I just kept getting there's like this 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 flow of like sewer that I was trying to that I was swimming through. And I just kept getting stabbed by syringes. I'm like, oh, is this not killing me? And no, it wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, it's a bit dark. I thought it was yeah, a oh, kid's it was. Game. I spent spent so it, it is a little bit. But then I think there's some. Yeah, I don't know. You're right. That is, it does seem more like a kid's game. It seems to me more like something like um, like a goat simulator or something like that to me, it felt. But I suppose yeah. there's, a, there's probably a bit of a dark humour to goat simulator where you just... Goat simulator is... Giving people amazing. a good hiding. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, that one's... It's all right, but it's not amazing. And I wish it was better. The other thing that I did get, the other thing I got from the Humble Monthly this month, is a game called Call of the Sea. And this one's got me intrigued. Um, so it's like a first-person adventure game where you play a woman named Nora in the, it's like the 19, I think it's like 1930-something, or if it's 30s, and you are on a ship going to an island to look for your husband who has gone gone to this random mysterious island looking for a cure for an illness that you have um and now he, he's disappeared and you're going on the ship to go go into that island to find him and then there's a whole like mystery of where is he going to you and you're going on to the island and then looking at like uh like statues or symbols he's trying to f it then becomes like a puzzle game it's mm -hmm. like puzzle elements to it so you're trying to figure out like oh, I need, like, this totem piece to go in this thing to, like, lower this bridge down or to raise raise the gates. Um, meanwhile, there's all this, this whole voice story going on. Um, and, yeah, it's, it's, it's intriguing. And it's kind of fun. I saw this when it first came out in, what was it now, like... It came out in 2020. I saw it mm -hmm. and I thought, this looks interesting. And I saw someone playing it and I was thinking, oh, is it going to be, like, a, one of them like adventure games where it's like 
you're collecting loads of items and what you're doing is is you know collecting different things and then having to like put them together and to do something that like old school adventure games where it's like you're just kind of clicking on everything to figure out what you need to do but it seems to me it's not the witness but i got a little witness vibes from it but it's not the witness definitely not the same sort of puzzle but it's, i don't know if it's just the, the the environments and the colors that i was getting from it but I, I i did get a little bit of witness vibes from it um but we've also a little bit of not not telltale but more like a like a walking simulator you know so no, no it's a bit derogatory but like a, a sim like just where you're walking around and experiencing the story with like minor puzzles in it mm. um and I, I've, en I've enjoyed it i've played like the first hour i think i got through chapter two um like i, I figured out a drawbridge i figured out like where the where the, the initial encampment is where her husband was staying and now I'm like I've got this massive, it's like this big like a piece of equipment that he was using, and I, I don't know what this is. And now I feel like I've got to go through his encampment and trying to like figure it out because during while the game plays and you look at items, you look at pictures, you look at statues, stuff like she fills it in like a journal. And there's like a log, so it, the log book area, so it logs down like like sketch drawings or something, like that. and then there's an actual journal bit which like she writes in it so she like writes her findings and writes certain things that she sees and what she what's going on um so you can like keep referring back to like each things and then it, it's been fun i've enjoyed it i genuinely was happy with it. i think it, it did get decent reviews when it came out um and i i've, I've enjoyed what, I, what i've played so far and uh it has got me intrigued it has got me it has kind of got me intrigued, so I probably will play a little bit more of this and see where I get. If I get stuck, then and I can't figure it out, I might end up stopping playing it. But so far, it's not been too. I mean, I've been overthinking it. I'll be honest. With you. I was looking for a. There's like a combination of symbols there to figure out. There's like a combination of symbols to to raise it to lower this bridge. And I was like, okay, so I went all the way back to the start of the game. I was like, okay, so this symbol means this. This symbol means this. This. Okay, so where's this? Then I went, I went up to the thing, didn't work, and I realised the sim the, on the back of the the, uh, the statue where I was lining up these uh, symbols, it was just the, the, it was on the back of the thing. I should have just looked at the back of it, and it was there. The answer was there all along. So maybe I just don't overthink this one and just uh, enjoy it. Um, but other than that, that has been me. Realistically, I did do this. I I yeah. That is me. I'm not going to say that I did buy some more Pokemon cards this week. I'm not because I'm not going to say that. <laughs> There's Help. a good boy. <laughs> I mean, hundred pound boxes. I can't. Uh, I can't. It feels wrong not to do it. Exactly, it is wrong not to do it. <laughs> it's, it, it felt like a price error, so I did it quick, and then I was like, "Wait, I don't know." <laughs> and then I uh, then did order some the uh, Elite Trainer box for for the goal set today. Uh, that's the spirit. I didn't know it was out today. That's what threw me. Because it said, I looked up one earlier in the week and it said it's like out on the 20th or something like that or something. There's some... Yeah, they're staggering the launch. So the, the set officially launches today, but not every product that's part yeah, of the set. Yeah, so is I out didn't. Today. I'd, I'd have had it today if I'd have realised that the actual trainer box was, was out today. But the thing that I was looking at said the 20th or something. So I was like, all oh, right, okay, so I've got a few weeks then. So I went to pre order it today and it was like, oh, it's just shipped. I went, wait, what? It's coming on Monday. So I was like, oh, okay. Super. Exciting so, times. I know I've run out of room. I've physically run out of room in my tin for me for for other cards now. <laughs> you need I've a just... big cardboard box. Anna loves the big cardboard box that sits in our living room. That's from no, Pokemon I don't. Cards. Oh yeah, that sounds like fun. Maybe I'll need to... another one. Really, I've got loads in my office as well. Yeah, yeah multiple <sighs> boxes. Exactly. Interesting. And my six binders that I've got under my desk. Yeah, I think I'm going to, have to buy a binder now for the ghost set, Anna. Of course you are. How many is in the ghost set? Same, similar. Eighty-eight. Sort of... Eighty-eight. Yeah, that's not as many. It's, it's not as many. Okay, so maybe it'll fit in the back of the the one that the, the binder I've already got for Astral Radiance. Maybe, maybe that. Maybe it will. Yeah, there you go. That sounds like a plan. Super good stuff, Kev. There you go. Uh, but that is everything from 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 me this week. So uh, I'll throw it over to Anna. Me. You. Um, me. I have been on a rummage of my games. 
a rummage. I've been on a rummage. Um, so I upgraded my basic PlayStation. Oh, tell me about this because I've been cu- I was curious about this and I was like, do I want to do this? And I, had, I haven't done. You haven't done. Okay, no. so I had basic. Well, it up it got so like upgraded to basic. I now have the top one. Where as oh. everything because they said for two hundred and eighty some days it was thirty eight pound and I went you know what thirty eight pound for over half a year really why not uh huh that's yeah, good used, yeah I was like that's that's quite an attractive price to go up to the top have a look around and see what you can do um mm. so I did that and the first thing I did was I was streaming PlayStation three games because I just wanted to play I don't know why. I don't know why it was in my head, but it the what I was playing was not in my head. I wanted to play Infamous, but I started it and it didn't feel like Infamous. And I was like, this feels weird. It didn't start where I thought it would start, so I think I need to play Infamous too. But I was playing it, and now I don't know if I was looking into the past with rose-tinted glasses... But this didn't look well. <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, not that's aged. PS3, uh, two yeah, generations it's, at this point. It's not yeah. aged well, that game. Um, it, it just seems that there's like... Um, you know them weird photos you get that if you move it, the picture moves? It feels like that. Like, I don't know what it is. It just feels like it's... I think the frame rate is very bad. <laughs> Street, because... Right. It oh yeah, just... I bet they were probably targeting thirty at them days, and it was messes yeah. with my brain. Um, yeah. So I did bits of it, and I just turned it off. I was like, I can't bother with it. But it did stream. It did it very well. I, I had no hiccups. But then again, I have good internet, so I don't take that as you will. It was fine here. Um, so I played that, and then. Um, I went through like all the games and I downloaded a few um, because I, I just want something to play. I'm bored and I know I have all these should play games like Horizon and, and Dying Light. I'm just bored though. I want something so I on the plate on PlayStation on Xbox I installed all of um, the Elder Scrolls Online again. Okay. Played it for 10 minutes, I turned it off. I don't want to play it. And then I went and put in um, Dead Island, the definitive edition. That looks great. It it, oh, okay. it it looks good because obviously they've upgraded it. It looks fine. But again, the fighting in that game infuriates me because it's just basically whack, whack, whack. Oh no, I've got no stamina, they eat you. There's no... Like, there is a level up system, but it's very... It takes a while to get leveled up, and it's just very slow in that manner, because you're like, just hurry up and upgrade so I can smash these in the head and carry on, because they do come at you with some speed. But it does look good in the, on Definitive Edition. So I played that for an afternoon. Is, and that then, the, is that on the PS Plus thing? I'm not sure because I have I have it on this. You I know Riptide yeah. is, but I don't know if Dead Island one two. Hold on, is two Riptide? I can't remember. Two, but no, anyway. uh, no, two didn't come out. <clears throat> Riptide I've was got... like the one point five, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah. Oh yeah, because two was the yeah. I wish that would come out. It did look very good. <laughs> like there's like whole like videos of like the gameplay, but no, that didn't. Oh, well, come I mean out. that's that's that'll be long dead. No, that it'll be all be re- rebooted and restarted development. I imagine at this point, if the amount. Of well, isn't it about the same people that did Dying Light? Uh, possibly. Did oh it no, even, I don't think it, it was. Did it move though to someone else? <clears throat> I don't someone know. Someone did something. But we got Dying Light, which is fine because that's also fun. Um, mm-hmm. And then Kevin was walking around with his steep. No, he walked in and went, oh, Persona, blah, 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 are all coming to the whatever he said, to the PlayStation and the Xbox. I was like, oh, I was like. Actually, I told you they were coming to the Switch this week. That was this week's news. Yeah, and then you this told me they were coming out news. 10th of November or October that they were coming out on the 
on the consoles. Yes. I was like, oh, I already own one of them, so I've been playing Persona 5. I, oh my God, this game infuriates me. So I do love it. Like <laughs> I, do, I love the whole game. Like I think it's great. But for goodness sake, you know, so they go on holiday, right? So they have, like, you're a student and they have a break, like summer break. <clears throat> uh-huh. And they go on holiday, right? You are not going to be, because you're like the phantom thief. So you go in and you go into these palaces and you have to nick the treasure and make these people be good or tell people of their crimes and everyone's like, yeah. But when they go on holiday, they don't do that, which is fine. They're allowed a break, but oh my God, four hours I sat there and they're going, oh, shall we go to the beach? Oh, should we go and get some souvenirs? Yeah, this is the best part oh, of the game. I was so it's the bored. Visual novel bit, is it? Yes, yeah. I was so Plus, bored. This is the persona tradition of getting the female characters in their bikinis <laughs> on the beach oh. at some point during the game, so the male characters can drool over them. It's just a persona <gasps> thing that has to happen. Oh, I was just so bored, and I was just like, "Oh yeah, she got a bikini on. Whoopie do." <sighs> I just I couldn't care less. <laughs> I'd be happy if they took all of the persona stuff out of it. It was just oh, hanging no. around in the school. <laughs> so I like I enjoy being in the classes because I get like you get the questions. If you get them right, you upgrade your stats. And I like going and doing all the battling and like the going around the city. But the beach, I just wanted to to punch my eyes out. I was so bored of these people and like. Like, I, I'm, I'm going through the story, and it's fine, but they keep saying the same thing all of the time. Like, we've got to go after this person. Yes, I am aware. I have a countdown in the corner. Oh, you can't relax there. Why? I have two weeks to do this. I know how to do a palace. You just go for it real quick. But no, they don't shut up. But I do enjoy it. I do enjoy doing the battles and collecting my personas and then killing my personas to make new personas and now I have like personas that I can get from the community and it's just all things that are coming out with there's new characters, there's new powers, there's oh like I've got an, an old laptop that I need to go and get some tools for because I want to fix it in the game. In real life I wouldn't do that, but in this game I want to go and find some old tools. But like Kevin was like well, it's all about the relationships and, and having a girlfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a boyfriend in this game. You're playing it wrong, then. <laughs> He's more effing. Yeah, that sounds like a yeah. you problem, not a persona problem. But I just, I, I've no interest in doing all that. It just seems you need to like... have like three or four on the go for oh. Valentine's Day to get the Valentine's Day cutscene when they all come to you one after the other on Valentine's Day and are heartbroken that you've got four girlfriends. It's brilliant. I don't because they don't realise until then, despite the fact you hang around in a very tight knit friendship group, none of them realise you're dating them all until Valentine's Day. It's superb. But is it? Is it? Can you only like? Is it only girls you can date because you are a boy? Because you can't be. Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. Because uh, you can't be like the main protagonist as a girl, which is annoying. Because, yeah, I don't want to be a boy. But it's it's fine. Like. I've, I'm 66 hours in. Oof. Obviously, there's something there. <laughs> like, it just it was just that beach bit. I was just like, I'm so bored. I just wanted to. Like, I was just sat there with it, like the controller never moved because you know like, you can have auto like auto um like the the words move by themselves, so you don't have to keep pressing the button. And I didn't touch the the controller for ages. The one, like, the couple of times I did, I was moving from screen to screen, and I was just like, I'm so bored. I'm, like, there was an octopus, and there was some lobsters. It was just, it was just weird. And then, I also have been trying trying to play, but Persona took up my time, uh, the Far Cry 5 New Dawn, because it's the only thing I can think of that's near, like, Fallout. Because, yes, I do love Fallout, but I've played Fallout to the death. Like, there's nothing else I can do in that game that I haven't done. Like, I've pl- I've finished this game twice already. Like, I can go in, I go in there and I'm like, yeah, I know what's doing this bit. Yes, I know what's doing this bit. It just, I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but for 
Fallout, I remember every area because I've done it that many times. I'm just a bit not far cry, not far cry, not Fallout burnt like burnt out because I want to play it, but I just don't want to play Fallout. So I've been trying New Dawn, which is fine. New it's Dawn. like yeah, New it's Dawn. Far Cry Five. But an apop- apocalypse happened. Oh yes, that's right. With the twins. With the, the twins? twins, yes. With the tw- the the twins yeah. with the pink hair, yeah. um, which is fine. Like you can play as a girl or a boy at the start, so you're not playing who you previously played in the first game. Because like, I don't no. know, thirty five years has passed or something. So you wake up. You've been asked to come to Hope County to help because of the highwaymen and these twins because they are mean they are mean twins and it's it's just like far not just like far cry 5 but you've got like yeah yeah what are they called like strongholds and you take them down so you can get your ethanol and then the ethanol helps you build up like your main settlement and you've got to go and get new cars and um, there's like story missions everywhere. You need to go and get these, like old time people, like new, who were alive before the the blast, and you need to go and collect them and bring them to your settlement to make your settlement better. Um, you've got the the little um, I don't know what they're called, treasured treasured quests or something, where you go and find bunkers underneath, yeah, and yeah, they've got yeah. all your skill points in and stuff. So it's fine, like. It's, it's, I don't think you need Far Cry 5 to play it. No, I think it's I think standalone, it, yeah. Yeah, standalone. So I've just been doing that, running around, just doing my thing. Because I, I just want something that's post-apocalyptic. But it's now, what, we're in July. What we've got mm-hmm. in July? We've got Stray. So I believe that is free if you upgrade your PlayStation. Your PlayStation Plus, I think. Mm. I heard so that that I think that's either the fourteenth or the nineteenth, so that's something to to cut. <laughs> but I'm just a bit bored. Like I've watched all like the the PlayStation events and the Xbox events, and I'm like, eh, there's like there's not a lot for me at the moment. Like it, I I keep seeing like these all these games where it's like four player, but you can play on your own. But I don't. I don't why are they make why are they not making single player games anymore? And it's annoying because I don't want to play online. I like to play on my own <laughs> in my own little world, doing my own thing. And it it just doesn't seem to be out there at the moment. And I don't know why. Maybe I'm getting too old for this. But it's like I was playing outer outer worlds, and it's just it's so it gets so boring because it's so repetitive. There's no there's no like progression. It's just all the same. Go over there and shoot something. Go over there and shoot something. I'm just like, I'm bored. I don't know what it is. So hopefully, stray. It's a cat. I've never been a cat before, so <laughs> we'll see what it's like to be a cat. But yeah, so at the moment, Persona and uh, New Dawn is is where I'm at at the moment. But yeah, PlayStation Plus has a lot on there. It is, it is like, um, what's it? We call it, your Game Pass. It's um, it's definitely up there. It's because like I thought that um, like Fallout and Bethesda stuff wouldn't be on there. And there's some Bethesda on there. I was like, oh, oh, there's New Vegas on there. Oh, but I've played that a bajillion times, so I didn't put it on. But yeah, that's me done. Have you um? Have you seen this Fallout London mod? Okay, but that's not... You can't get mods on console, can you? Or Was can that you? a real mod? I saw that... Uh, yeah. I, I hate humans, love the wife, whatever. You know, that, that joke that people... You know, there's always those morons on Twitter, isn't there? Of the hate the wife, kids have left me kind of bios. And I saw a picture <laughs> where one of the... The, what are they called the zombie people that are poisoned ghouls green yeah that they, one of them was saying that and it was a londoner um <laughs> i didn't realize it was an actual full-on mod though that's interesting that is interesting. Out, yeah 
But What's that um, for? Um, Fallout 4? Yeah. Because you can have mods on Fallout 4. I don't know I if it's out that. yet, but I've just, I just Googled it and it's. Uh, I saw it in the week about it. I it asked, should... by the way, That'd sorry, you know, go on. I'll, I'll, in a minute, I want to update on that multiplayer for Hollow Knight. I asked a question and I got an answer, so uh, when you're done, I'm going to no, no. quickly go. No, no, go for it. Cool. No, so apparently it's not just playing the game. You can do a, P, a player playing the game jobby with it, but also there's uh, a mod that you can play things like Hunters, where five of you chase one of the other players and they could just run through the whole game and you're chasing them, trying to kill them. Uh, they have like an Among Us style multiplayer where one of you is the imposter and you're all trying to go about your business playing the game. And it's just loads of things like that. You can try and do these uh, gauntlets together, like a bit of a horde mode type jobby. Um, people have just turned it into a kind of multi-faceted multiplayer, which sounds amazing. They do have a play it through option. Um, but yeah, I wasn't expecting that at all. I was expecting it to be just us playing the game. Do, 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 you know. Um, but they're like, no, no, no. We'd be actually like playing and competing and then you know someone will win someone will lose that sounds even better so uh yeah i'm pleased mm. with that it does mean i need to uh, download it on uh steam rather than uh, game pass because you can't actually mod game pass uh well for this game at least so uh i'll, I'll be buying it but to be fair i don't mind giving them the probably five six pound that it'll be because this game is awesome it's and it's on sale at the minute i imagine i hope so in the steam sale i imagine it's on sale let's have a look shall we Oh, look, uh, five pound fifty. There you go. Hey, brilliant bargain! I'll, uh, I'll, uh, yeah, that that I'll, I'll treat myself with that. There you go. Splendid. Well, on that note, let's wrap things up for the week because I need to have another coughing fit. So, <laughs> if you want to follow us on the internet, you can do that at MGUK Podcast. You can follow me at Lelujo, and I'm at RB6K. I'm at Miss Lelujo, and I'm at Pab 1986. And we will see you next week, boys and girls. Thanks for listening, folks. Toodle pip. Have a good week. <laughs> I said what you said. What a moron. How did I do that? Have a good week. <laughs> I've got to say you're welcome to someone. I don't understand what's going on. 